Hello, welcome to your module number one in this basic concepts of lean manufacturing that we are providing to you. Uh, today in module number one, what we are going to analyze are the basic principles of Kaizen and lean manufacturing. Kaizen establishes that every activity can be improved. Of course, for better results, we need the cooperation of everybody in our team. That's important because many ideas produce better ideas, right? So our next step is to analyze what are the fundamental objectives of lean manufacturing. Lean manufacturing is a process comprised of several strategies and disciplines that has the purpose of creating a flow of products, the most uniform possible flow of products that are made in the right amount, not fewer, not more than needed either for our next customer or next workstation or for the final customer. You need to produce that flow in the quantity that is necessary by the user or by the next uh, station that you have in your plant. Now, another objective that is critical in lean manufacturing is quality. We want to make sure that everybody knows what is the quality that is specified for the product. The better they know what's the specifications of quality, the better they will be able to comply with those. Sometimes you need to furnish some photographs or parts that are well done so that people can understand what are the critical parts of that quality. The next step of uh, lean manufacturing is to make sure that we deliver every part in the right spot, to the right place, so that it is finished and in its right place either for sale or for the next, uh, the next operation that uh, will take place. Now we go to the, to the next step that is critical here. Everything must arrive just in time. Either, either to the shipping dock or to the next station, every unit that you produce in your workstation should arrive to the next in the right timing not before, not after. And all of this must be done at the lowest possible cost. The lowest cost, possible cost is obvious, is what is going to determine our competitiveness in front of the whole competition that we have everywhere. Now, once we have this uh, process analyzed, it is uh, very simple to understand that we all can contribute to it. So make sure, make sure that you have, and your, you and your people, all your team, have understood what is the importance of lean manufacturing. At this moment, I would like to ask you about one of your processes that may not be complying with all these characteristics. Remember, number one is uniform flow. Number two, the appropriate quantity, the quantity that we need. Number three, deliver it with a specified quality. Specified quality is whatever the customer has established that we must deliver in quality. The next is deliver it in the right place where they need it, wherever you are committed to deliver go and deliver in the right place. Finally, we must focus on that delivery to be done just in time and at the lowest possible cost. I will encourage you to put this into practice analyzing those processes. See which of those really are not complying with this uh, ingredients of lean manufacturing, with this uh, parameters of lean manufacturing, and start thinking because next week we will start taking some actions on those. So I will see you here for our module number two, 
next week. Thank you very much. Thank you.